So the EDC world is a very big world and it can be a very confusing world. So when you're looking at blades and multi-tools and knives and all the cool little gear and gadgets that are available to you in uh, today's marketplace, it's very confusing. So that's why I'm starting up a lot of these videos is to maybe give you folks a starting point, an idea of where to go, and maybe hopefully you'll find something that works for you and benefits you in your day-to-day -day activities. So one of the things that I like to look at is not only the new stuff, but some of the traditional stuff. And the traditional stuff is very, very applicable in today's world. And this is one example right here. This is a Victorinox. This is the model Tinker. And Victorinox, if you know about them, they make the Swiss Army knives and they have tons of different models between these, the more traditional multi-tools. They have blades, they have all kinds of cool stuff ranging from really cheap to really expensive. This right here is pretty inexpensive. Um, you'll find if you look online, you'll see the price difference just a little bit on these, but for the most part, they're not that expensive at all. It's not big either. Here it is in my hand, I have pretty big hands, but it's very easy pocket carry. It's a traditional design. Uh, Victorinox design. Now, just to go over real quick on these designs, and then I'll go over why I like the Tinker over some of the other ones. Um, this basically, they're built via machines and they're built layer by layer. There are, um, they kind of stack the tools. They have brass pins in and they put little uh, tension devices in so they have tension when they open up so they're not just flopping around. After they do that, they'll take the brass pins and they'll kind of set them in place so that way this metal part right here that you can see, this metal part is secure, and then they'll take these plastic handles and press fit them over the metal part. And the handles are very, very secure. The uh, I've seen them crack. I've seen little pieces maybe come off, but I've never seen them just pop off. So it's a very, very secure fit. Awesome deal. Uh, I'll oil it up a little bit, and then boom, send it down the uh, uh, production line and out to the, uh, to the retailers. So very, very simple design very cost effective and very strong uh, for what it's used for. Now the Tinker, this was gifted to me by my wife. I have an awesome wife. She's just the best wife ever. Sorry, fellas, I got the best one. Sucks to be you. Uh, <laughs> and anyway, so this, um, she gifted this to me and the first thing I noticed when I looked at it was this right here. And the reason why I'm pointing at this, this is a Phillips head driver. And most of these Swiss Army knives that I've seen, they have, or I should say multi-tools is probably a better description of these multi-tools, is they have, uh, they'll have the corkscrew in there for like taking off cork from a bottle or something like that. And that's really cool, but I never have a use for those things. But this right here, I would have a use for. A Phillips head, I could have much more use for a Phillips head than uh, a, a uh, corkscrew. So to me, that's a win. I really like this model just because of that. So uh, I'll just kind of show you here, just starting on the side, you have the, the, the Phillips head right here is kind of like an awl. Um, these do have nail nicks in them. That's how you take them out is with nail nicks uh, that are in all the different little tools here. And uh, they're very secure. You can kind of see how it, it stays in place. It takes a little bit of tension to uh, close it again. But in any case, that's what you have on this side. You have this little awl and then you have this right here on one side. Now to flip it over, now we're looking at can opener, bottle opener. Let me just pop these two out right here so you can kind of see. So uh, these double as also you can see a slot head right there. Let's see if the camera can see that slot head. Then you have a bigger slot head right up here. So it's kind of cool. You get multiple uses out of the tool. So to close these, and then I'll open up right here. First, the small one. You have a small blade, and this can fold out all the way like that. So you have a small blade right here, a great little utility blade for cutting open boxes, all that good stuff. And it is extremely sharp. It's razor sharp. So what that tells me is after you use it a little bit, you'll probably need to sharpen it, I'm sure. Uh, somebody can speak to that. I haven't used one of these so much that you have to resharpen it, but I'm sure with a little bit of use, this is a very small blade, very thin blade. You'll have to uh, sharpen it, but no big deal. So there's a small blade. What I'll do is I'll carefully close that. And then to flip over, here is your larger utility blade. 
So it's a pretty good sized blade. Here it is up against my hand for comparison. It's a great blade and it is ultra razor sharp as well. So good deal. It does come with two utility blades. So let me safely close this. So uh, would you carry another knife with this? Sure, you certainly could. Like for example, here is a Gerber Zilch that I have, inexpensive knife. But maybe I don't want to use this knife for stuff like opening boxes or whatever, cutting into food, you know, food preparation, stuff like that, which this excels at um, for being such a small multi-tool. I could have this along with this, keep this for maybe self-defense use or something like that, and then use this for my food preparation on a campsite or in the kitchen, use it for whatever, opening boxes, all that good stuff, opening letters. Um, that's where I think this really shines is the day-to-day -day stuff. If you don't necessarily want to get other tools, but you just want to have something with that capability. I mean, this, uh, Phillips head right here will work around the house, securing outlets, screwing in stuff, screwing in door jam, you know, um, door plates, all that stuff. This will certainly work. Uh, is it the best in comparison to a regular screwdriver? No, but it'll certainly work. So I really, really dig it. Uh, I haven't seen, uh, as far as reviews, I haven't heard much for flaws. I mean, I guess this has a limited use. I mean, if you're going to look to pry with these uh, blades, I wouldn't recommend it because these blades, they're either going to bend or snap. So if you're looking for prying hardcore stuff, this isn't the tool for you. Uh, one thing I didn't mention yet, and that is right up here. And forgive, I don't know if you can hear the ground squirrels. I have ground squirrels all over my yard. I live in the mountains of Montana, and we got tons of ground squirrels. So you may hear them in the background. My, my apologies for that. Uh, right here, toothpick could be useful. I don't really use a toothpick a whole lot, but on occasion, it's nice. And then right here, you have tweezers, which I have found use for. You can use these to pick up small items or to pull splinters out, all that good stuff. So very useful. And that's kind of a staple of Victorinox for these. Is, you know, the, the, one of these multi-tools is not complete unless you got a uh, pair of tweezers and a uh, toothpick in it. So in any case, awesome, awesome multi-tool. I really dig it. I think it's cool. It's very traditional. Uh, but along with that tradition comes a lot of style in my opinion. I mean, I've, I have yet to hear uh, many people at all downplay the uh, Victorinox line. It's a really good line of stuff. And one good thing I like about this too, is it's very snag free. It's very smooth. Nothing is going to get caught. So throwing it in a pocket, you don't have to worry about something getting caught and pulling the knife open, uh, or pulling a tool open or something like that. Uh, one thing to note though, uh, these do come oiled from Victorinox, so that's great, but keep in mind if you carry these a lot, keep an eye on how much gunk and lint and everything you're going to get in here because oil attracts that sort of thing. So if you carry it around in a pocket a lot, after a while, just kind of look, make sure you're not getting all kinds of lint in here. Blow it out with a can of compressed air or something or wipe it out with a Q-tip, something like that. That's just, you know, care and maintenance of the tool. So um, feel free to talk about your experiences with these uh, i know a lot of you maybe going up growing up and doing the boy scouts and stuff this is kind of a popular not necessarily the tinker but you get a variation uh, of the victorinox knives and whatnot at least they used to i don't know if they do it anymore so feel free to speak on that thanks a lot for watching as always stay safe and stay sane out there